Now today we're taking a look at the enigmatic Nepenthes northiana. Nepenthes northiana is endemic to the Bow Hills on the island of Borneo, where it grows as a lithophyte. Um, now, we've observed it in the wild a few years back um, and really gleaned a lot of information that we think is necessary for successful cultivation. Uh, the first thing we learned about it is it grows on these cliffs that get a few hours of direct sunlight, but um, then the rest of the day um, it's, uh, it's bright shade. Um, so it doesn't want to be exposed to a ton of light, um, but you know, it, it does want a decent amount of light for a few hours. So you can see right here, our, our, our uh, parent plant right here um, has these red on the leaves. Now we found that it expresses that red whenever it's been a little bit overexposed. And right here where it's springtime in Texas, um, we haven't put the shade cloth on the greenhouse yet, but we've also had a few very cloudy weeks. So some of the old growth has some red on it, but you know, the new growth is nice and green um, and looks very, very happy. Now, another thing we've uh, found out about uh, Nepenthes northiana is it wants a well-drained media, which makes sense because it grows as a lithophyte, meaning it's, uh, it, it's just growing in these, uh, these rocks that drain well all the time, um, but um, they, um, they don't hold water. Um, so we, uh, we grow in a medium of uh, coconut fiber, uh, coconut core, um, or um, perlite pumice, um, or uh, orchid chips. So um, especially orchid chips um, that are uh, the Orchiata brand, they, uh, they're infused um, with, uh, with some elements that make them more alkaline um, in nature. And so um, we've really had more success when we grow them in that. However, we also have plants that are in our standard sphagnum mix um, that seem to be going okay. Um, so that brings us to the third point for Northiana cultivation. It just really seems to like to be very stable all the time. So we're talking 70 degrees or above and high humidity. Um, but you know, under say 90 degrees. Um, and, um, that's what's worked for us. And this plant just continues to grow larger and larger. And we're really hoping, uh, to, uh, flower it soon and uh, be able to supply, supply some beautiful, uh, species and hybrid plants for you guys.